great prophet has risen among us. God has visited his people. Bless the Lord who forgives our sins. Call it for purity together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thought of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worldly magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is like, namely this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments, hang all the law and prophets. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Therefore, let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling upon our knees. Together, we have conversion. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate thought. We have not sufficiently walked according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ, but have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent all of our sins for the sake of our Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the end of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. The collect for this week, the collect for this season, epistle, and the gospel for this service. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways, and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and never. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contract hearts that lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, we may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect forgiveness and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Please sit back. The epistle is written in the first epistle of John, chapter 3. We commence the reading from verse 1. First John, chapter 3. We commence the reading from verse 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, 
and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when it shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committed sins transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that it was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth has not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doeth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. This is the word of the Lord. is written in the 15th chapter of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by Saint Luke beginning at the fourth verse then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him and the Pharisees and scribes murmured saying this man received sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lost one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after which is lost, until he find it? And when he had found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep, which was lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented, more than over ninety and ninety-nine, those persons which need no repentance. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle, and sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, 
she called her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. This is the gospel of Christ. your head and let us pray. Thank you, Father, for the first Sunday in the month of March. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. As we listen to you this morning, speak to us the word of life, that we make our self-denial meaningful. Open our eyes to see you more and more, for we pray in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Once again, we appreciate our good Lord for this wonderful opportunity to see the first Sunday in the month of March. I pray the grace will continue to speak for us in Jesus' name. I'd like to appreciate our Father, the Lord Bishop, for this great opportunity to speak the word of God to his people today. May the Lord continue to lead you through the journey of life in Jesus' name. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. Luke chapter 15, verses 3 so far and the topic of this message is making self-denial meaningful i welcome us to the presence of god this morning and i say happy new month to each of us god shall hear your voice and your plea in jesus name sound of joy shall be heard in your house this month and your place of work in the name of jesus I also congratulate Mama Ijebu Southwest and all Mothers Union delegates on the success of 2023 conference. May the Lord accept your thanksgiving as you appear before him in the thanksgiving service today in Jesus' name. Brethren in the Lord, today is the second Sunday in Lent, the period of self-denial. In Luke chapter 15, the text for this sermon, the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear him, that is, to hear the Lord Jesus Christ. The Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. To the Pharisees and scribes, the tax collectors were chief sinners because they did not conform to their code of religious behavior. They were totally set aside by the Pharisees and scribes. But 
Do you know this is not the mind of Jesus? Therefore, at this period of length, in order to make our self-denial meaningful, for us not to waste the flowing grace at this season, we must learn from our master Jesus. For Jesus, every sheep is important. He wouldn't want any to lost into the hand of the devil, the enemy of their soul. For anyone who one way or the other has gone astray, he graciously looks for them and brings them back to his ways. At this point, let me share few things we can learn from the parable of Jesus concerning the lost sheep, which will help us to make our self-denial at this time meaningful so that we will not do it in vain. To fast is good, but some fast may not be acceptable before God. But for our fast to be acceptable before God, let me share a few lessons with us. Number one, love and care is important. This is the time to check the level of your love and care, especially to others, like our friends, and neighbors, your followers, and your subordinates. Do you care for others at all? Or you are selfish all the time? If you do not see one person in your group, in your working place, or in your family, do you look after them until you find such a person? Jesus said, the spirit of a good shepherd is that if he has hundred sheep and lost one of them, he will go after the one which is lost until he finds it. Do you have such love for people under you that you will leave whatever you are doing and seek after them? Do you have care for people that they can draw close to you? All your behavior always send them away. Can you share what you have with your fellows? Do you seek the good of the people working with you? Or you look for their downfall? I call on you this day to change your orientation, draw close to people, and allow people to draw close to you. Love them with the love of Christ and care for them. Number two, forgiveness. That your self-denial will be more meaningful at this time. I charge you at this season to increase the level of your forgiving spirit. Do you have anyone you have deserted, ignored, neglected, or sent away totally? I call you, forgive them. Look for them with the spirit of Jesus and draw them back. He or she could be your worker, could be your friends, your neighbor, even your own children, your parents, or whoever he or she might be. Jesus said, For that one sheep that is loved, no doubt the person might have wronged you to your bone and marrow. Nevertheless, look for them and take them back. Remove reshape, reorganize, readdress, readjust, retake, or whatever re you need to do. Please do it in the name of Christ. Number three, grow more in your fellowship with God. Another thing that we make our self-denial meaningful is that this period is a good time to grow more in our work with God. It is not a time to sleep more. It is not a time to relax more. But it is a time to seek God more. A time to pray more. A time to study more on the word of God. It is a time we have opportunity to run away from every sin which easily clings closely to us. I call on you not to allow this period to go just like that without making a good impact in your life. Let God work on you again at this time. Release yourself totally unto God. Number four, 
lift others up. Verse 5 of Luke chapter 15 says, And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. What a great opportunity that God has given unto you that you are misusing. Some people are connected to you. How do you see or treat them? Some people are looking up unto you that they are yearning for comfort, for counsel. They are waiting for you to lead them beside the still waters that they may drink for their souls to be restored. Some are watching where you put your leg that they may put their own for they believe it is going to be a part of righteousness, a part of holiness, and that of godliness. Some people are waiting for you to carry them on their shoulder that they can have perfect peace, warm and sound sleep. How I wish God will open your inner eyes that you see and understand more of what God is quietly saying to you at this time. Can I ask you at this point, as I run off this psalm, who is your lost sheep? Who is your lost sheep? Do you know the sheep is praying that you find him or her? The sheep is not happy to be alone. The sheep is not happy to be lost. No one loves to be deserted or ignored. Nobody is praying to be lost. May I say to you again that there are some people you need to heal their wounds. It is my prayer that they will not die with the wound in their heart in the name of Jesus. By God's steadfast love, I say to you that God has provided grace for you to search for those sheep and bring them back to the fold. May God help you to do so in the name of Jesus. The book of prophet Isaiah chapter 53 shows to us how Jesus healed our own wound. How he bore our weaknesses. He bore our grief. Carried our sorrow on his shoulder. Oppressed for our sake. And at the end, he came out victorious. Do not reject anyone. Draw them to your sin. And a lot of grace and power we be with you. There is joy in bringing back a lost sheep. Do so today at this period of our self-denial so that your self-denial will be more meaningful even unto heaven. And a God of grace will be with you in the name of Jesus. Bow your head and let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word sent to us Help us, O oh Lord, to make amen where necessary. May we not serve you in vain. Make us worthy and a faithful steward. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let us reaffirm our faith in the words of Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, 
through him all things were made for us men and for salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the restoration of the body and life of the world to come. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let us appreciate God for another privilege that God has given unto us to be in the presence of God this morning. Let's thank God for his mercy. Let's thank God for his guidance. Let us thank God for his provision, even in our lives. Let us thank God even for the success of the Mother Senior Conference for this year. Let's appreciate God for Mama in Jebu Southwest and Baba in Jebu Southwest. Let's thank God for all the clergy. Let's thank God for all the churches that we have in the diocese of Jebu Southwest. And let us pray that in this period, the grace to continue to serve God, even to have self-denial, to make it meaningful in this period, the Lord will continue to grant every one of us. It is an opportunity even to hear the word of God this morning. Let's pray for the Lord Jesus to give us the grace even to look for the lost sheep in our domain, in our environment, in our churches, especially in the diocese of the Jebel Southwest. I want us to pray for Nigeria, our country. Let us pray that in Nigeria, the Lord will continue to reign in this nation. Let us pray that the will of God will continue even to come to reality in our nation. Let's pray for our leaders and let us pray for every sector of this country that the Lord will continue to take control. Let us also pray for the election. Let's appreciate God for what the Lord has done during the presidential election. And let us pray for the next election that is coming up. The Lord will take control. Even this week, that the hands of the Lord will rest upon the INEC people who is going to coordinate the program that the Holy Spirit will lead the INEC people. Let us pray for incoming leaders that the grace to do the will of God, the Lord will continue to grant it unto them. Let's pray for Nigeria, especially the Christian in Nigeria, the grace to love ourselves, the grace to believe in God, even in this hard period, and the Lord will release it upon every one of us. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promise through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Henry, our primate, Baba Tunde, our bishop, and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, bless and guide our rulers. Especially, we pray for Muhammadu, our president, Dakbo, our governor in Ogun State. Let's pray for the wisdom of God. We also pray that the Lord will continue to guide them even at the incoming leaders in our country. We pray that the Lord will direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that people will honor one another and seek 
the common good. Lord, in your mercy, give us grace, our families, our friends, and to all our neighbors, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Rejoice in the fellowship of all your saints. We commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, may we all rise. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please wave your hands as a sign of peace to one another. The peace of the Lord be with you. bread to offer with the heart as given our human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life blessed are you Lord God of our creation to your goodness we have this wine to offer fruits of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink together yours Lord is the greatness the power the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's did right, it's our duty and joy at all times and in all places. To give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, for He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your image. Through Him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving Him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised Him from the dead and exalted Him to your right hand on earth. Through Him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. And now, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was in every way tempted as we are, yet did not sin, by whose grace we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer unto ourselves, but unto him. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of Paramite, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please kneel as we continue in prayer. 
Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, this gift of bread and wine may be to all his body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. And in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his suffering of himself when once for all upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And as we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with his bread and his cup is one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink this holy gift in the presence of the divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through him and with him and in him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you on earth and in heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The bread which you break is in all the communion of the body of Christ, and the cup which you bless is in all the communion of the blood of Christ. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Together on our knees, the prayer of humble ourselves. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much to gather the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son Jesus Christ and to drink his blood that we may ever more dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Holy things, holy people. If any is holy, let him come. If any is not, let him repent. The Lord is here. It's one holy, one Lord Jesus Christ to the glory of God the Father. Blessed forever. Amen.
Lord is my shepherd, therefore I shall not want. The Lord be with you. Please kneel as we pray. And as our Savior taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The second prayer together, Almighty God, thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be our living sacrifice. Send us out to the power of your spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. your shepherd this new month. The enemy will not be able to defy you. You will not lack anything good. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. The rod of the Lord and his staff shall comfort you. Throughout this month, surely the goodness and the mercy of the Lord shall follow you all your days and he shall be well with you the Lord will care about you the Lord will be interested about every details about your life and he will fight your battle the peace of God will pass all understanding keep your hearts and minds the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord the blessings of God almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Mark chapter 3 verse 15 and Jesus said to them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature I will proclaim you will proclaim we will proclaim may the blessings of the Lord be upon you have a blessed week.